You have a spirit doll. Well, it's haunted for sure. I mean, okay. Which is pretty cool. Yeah. Nope. Welcome to Switch It Up. We are switching. Flashlight? Yes. All flashlights. We're switching it up. This is the nighttime edition of Switch It Up. It's going to be spooky. <laughs> you travel in an RV to see different things in the United States. Go on and different experiences. We are doing the most unique experience that we've done. We've done aliens at Skinwalker Ranch. We've uh -huh. done Bigfoot uh -huh. down in Oklahoma. Uh -huh. And tonight, what are we doing? We are... How's that song go? I don't know. We're looking for ghosts. <laughs> oh, you're like Ghostbusters. I am trying to think how that song goes. <laughs> yes, we're going on a ghost hunt at one of the most haunted places in America. So they say. The question is, is do you believe in ghosts? Good question. We'll have more thoughts on that later. Yeah. So I, I guess know what we'll, we believe. We'll roll the intro. Will we? We got a 25 minute drive and then we're going from 10 p.m. to supposedly 4 a.m. I'm already sleepy. <laughs> we can't make we're it. old. All right, we gotta go. We gotta get there because we have to be there on time, they said. You gotta sign your waiver first. Yeah, in case they get me. Okay, spook, roll the intro. Spooky coming. Spooky, switch spooky. it up. Spooky. A man and a woman left their home. Cabela's parking lot for the win. Who said we couldn't stay in a Cabela's parking lot? This is a big one. Look <laughs> how big this thing is. It's ginormous. We're in West Virginia. I don't know what city. So that's where we're at. You got all of your gizmos I've got and it. gadgets. I've got cameras. I got like four cameras. All the ghost it. hunting device equipment. Got jackets because they jackets. Stay cold. Okay. You're Let's do driving. this. I'm driving. <laughs> <laughs> That's kind of spooky. I wish I got to get a different camera out. This might have been a bad idea. <laughs> yeah. What am I signing? I think you're signing right here. Yeah. Saying that. This agreement. That's pretty official. Look at this place. I'm hoping that I'll be able to. Look at that moon up there. Right here. Signature of paranormal here. Right mm -hmm. They are not liable for any damages to you, I guess. <laughs> the hardest thing to ever shoot video is generally going cave hiking, which never works out well for us. Which, which you don't like to do anyway. Ghost hunting, which generally is not on our radar screen. So I don't know what to expect this evening. But we're bringing in all cameras and all equipment. And we're going to see if we can actually share with you this experience. That's, that's the plan. Don't know how the plan's going to go. We do have a plan. So apparently, since this is one of the most haunted places in America, can you imagine, Sheila, just for a moment, having a house right across the street what? from this penitentiary? Beyond that, on the other side of the street is an elementary school. <laughs> so <laughs> We have no, I don't know anything of the history of this place. It's smack dab in the middle of town. How it is. did that happen? I don't know. It's definitely pretty creepy looking though. Maybe we should have come for a daylight tour. We should have. But what fun would that be? That's not how we do things. Now, with this whole experiment, a lot of people will sit and believe on Halloween and talk about demons and hauntings. Ghost things stories. like that. Ghost stories. They love to scare people. And scary movies come out full of demons and all that other fun stuff. And our thinking is they are demons. That's it. That's what a ghost is. Wouldn't you agree? Well, that's what we believe. Yeah. 
So I'm not sure what they believe. Not sure what, what you we, believe. We believe. If you're going to believe in demons, then you also have to believe the opposite is true, and that is God, angels. It's like this eternal war that's going on behind the scenes. And you're getting awful deep before we even get started. Yes, I am getting a little deep, I guess. <laughs> yes. Like, we're just trying to put on our big girl pants to go inside there in the dark. <laughs> I'm not even afraid. That's the that's the thing. Is this like I'm not I well, used I'm to not... be afraid of the dark, believe it or not, but I'm I don't know. It'll be an interesting experience. But what if there's spiders in there? No, spiders and crabs. No, <laughs> I'm out. But we're going to go into the <laughs> I'm out. I won't I just go in here. I'll leave you behind. That's what'll happen. <laughs> So this ought to be a fun little um, experience. Little did we know, Sheila booked this with, there was a paranormal conference earlier today. Tonight, there's a special ghost hunt with two ghost hunting celebrities. We have we, no idea. Yeah, we have no idea. <laughs> and they're we're getting just, us. We're just here for the experience. <laughs> I'm sure we won't make it all night. Here's they're, what's gonna happen. They're gonna, they want, Because if I mess up and make fun of things, that probably won't be good. Yeah, you can't okay, I promise. I'll be good. I promise. Do you promise? I do. I promise. Okay. Hey, look, we have... Here comes um, some special guests that are going with us. We, we hooked them into some stupid things, but we didn't want to go alone. And they were traveling in the same direction as us, so we invited them along. There's Ed and Kelly. Are you are you nervous? Uh, nah. I'm just worried I'm not gonna be find a bathroom. No, I am. <laughs> <laughs> okay. We all have priorities. We gotta have those priorities for sure. Taking snacks. You taking snacks? In the, in the lobby. I have my water. I'm not gonna be thirsty. Oh my gosh, you guys watch your I got water and um, trail mix. Trail mix. <laughs> And a pack of crackers. <laughs> you should see, you should see some of the equipment they're hauling in right now. It is, um, I can't wait to show you guys this. This is like professional stuff. Professional. And we got to switch it up. They've opened the gate. They've opened. There's a whole lot more people here than I thought there was going to be. I've already lost Sheila. Oh, there she is. I don't think I brought a big enough flashlight. <laughs> it's warm. It's warm. Okay. Oh, red light. We have to. <laughs> this is the devil's Listen, breath. <laughs> we have to take this serious. We cannot. I am being serious. Okay. We can't. Don't do anything. It's warm. It's the devil's breath. It's. <laughs> Bad. <laughs> it's gonna go bad. We have a one hour orientation, apparently, is what I've been told. And we'll do the one hour orientation, come back to there, and then we're let loose to go to wherever we want. What are you doing? This is stop it. Just stop. <laughs> I'll give you a few facts here and then we'll start exploring, okay? Now, the North End was built to hold 800. Our top number in the year was 2000, but that was after this South End. We were open for 129 years. We closed in 1995, and that was because they found we were violating the inmates' Eighth Amendment right. That's cruel and unusual punishment. You ready? Sure, we're just taking a tour.
All right, is everybody in? Yes. All right, so this is what we call new wall. These are the newer cells that were built from 1929 through 59. These cells work electronically, so there's no keys, okay, and they slide. If you explore these cells, do not try to slide the door shut. Three inmates were killed and because uh, they were thought to be informants or snitches. The one guy, they took him up here to the third tier and they tried to hang him. Didn't work. He's just dangling and strangling. So they pulled him back up. They took him to the fourth tier and held him by his ankles and dropped him. His head hit that far corner of this shower. Not this corner I'm lining up, but the other corner. So you can imagine what happened to his head. He's the lucky one. The other two, they ended up beating. Or you would be standing outside the prison. And we would actually be standing in the graveyard. This was Popper's Field. This is for the unclaimed bodies. So you do get uh, activity out here and in the chapel too. Our day tours are not allowed in the chapel, but you all are. Uh, I suggest going in, having a seat and talk. Ask if they want to pray with you or play some music. You would think gospel. No, let's try some heavy metal. I'm talking about the hangings. Before 1931, when a hanging was going to happen, they put an ad in the paper. And it's $2 a ticket. Bring your family, pack a picnic, come watch a hanging. Doesn't that sound like entertainment? First scared straight program. <laughs> and, uh, <laughs> Let's do it all. In the early days before the South End was built, they would use this for solitary confinement and punishment. Uh, there's a thing called a, a kick and jenny. Basically, it was a form where somebody was strapped to it face forward, and then they would use a whip to whack their buttocks or their backs. Uh, they would waterboard them down here. They would actually chain them to the wall in a fashion by their wrists that they can't set down, okay? Their arms would be stretched up. They could be like in a squat, but they could never get the weight off their legs. All right. Going to the chapel. Is that where we're going? We're doing it. Find the girl. So quiet. <laughs> be so quiet. No, it's floating orbs. We need light. Then we gotta get out all see if there's anyone in here first. This isn't very big. Oh sorry. Somebody's in here. devices. I can prepare that. So that temperature readings. There we go. So temperature readings. This EMF defector. I'll turn it on. So let's have some fun here. I'll set that over by itself. If that goes off, that okay. And then we have a lovely microphone. Let's just go ahead and turn the microphone on. There we go. We're recording. You have to come with the proper stuff, Pet. Yeah, so it's warm in here. And then if that doesn't work, we're going to use this. I'm going to scout them out. So I have the laser. It's my laser grid. They can't hide. 
or it's good for like dance parties. <laughs> and your job is to take the EMF detector and walk around with it. Now, if it comes close to something like this, oh no, it didn't go off. Usually it goes off. So if it goes off, where's your? So it doesn't work. No, it does. Where's my phone? There you go. See? So if it comes by something, and there's no power in here. It's at 1.51 all of a sudden. What's going on? You have to reset it. After no, you don't have to reset it. It's stuck. Oh yeah, that's weird. That's never happened. What's the deal? There we go. Okay. All right. Go find them. So I'll carry that. Yeah, you go. You go walk around. And we'll see. We'll see if we can find some hot spots. Ed's looking for hot spots. Leave your light on so I can see you. Got nothing. Well, there is no power in here, so. Oh, there is a power box, but the power box isn't on, is it? No. Who's over there, Kelly and Sheila? Why are you whispering? Because we don't want the ghost to hear us. At least somebody came with some lights. Thank you. It's hard to shoot. Is that you, Ed? Yes. He's up on top? Yeah. Still nothing? I, I didn't hear a beep. Nothing yet. Watch for raccoons. Maybe if we sang a rock song. We will, we will rock you. We will. We. I think they said heavy metal. Oh, that's not heavy metal? I don't think that counts. We're horrible ghost hunters. What? Yep. What are you talking about? You won't go to the sugar shack? When I was down there, I was like, I was like, if I'm not, this is a bad idea, I shouldn't be down here. In the sugar shack? Yep, I will not go down there. I felt nothing. I felt it too. It was like all of my spine. Remember when I came up to you said I just got a really bad chill and I moved from that spot mm. where I was thinking? Yes, yeah, so I was. I was down there and was like, yep, that's a bad idea. Seriously? Yep. So maybe that's where we'll go. Yeah. Go we'll go to the sugar shack. We'll go to the sugar shack, but I'm not going down there. I got nothing. Okay. Let me shut everything down. Do you think that stuff would be sugar? We. Mm -hmm. On we go. <laughs> There's so many people here, though, it's going to be hard to go places. We have to wait till everyone fizzles out. <laughs> I'm one of them. Yeah, I'll fizzle out quick. <laughs> yeah, I need light. <laughs> Nothing's gonna get us. Okay, so we are in the sugar shack, is what they call it. And above us is actually the, oh, here comes some more people. Visitors. Yeah, it's the visitor area. So apparently this is the area that a lot of activity happens in. Sheila, they didn't want to come down here because they didn't feel good. Sheila and Kelly both had some type of feeling, feeling down here. A feeling. I don't have any feelings. I mean, all I experience is love. <laughs> That's what's on this post. <laughs> keep your cool. Keep, hey, keep your cool. If you experience anything. <laughs> Just keep your cool. Where'd those people go? Okay, let me sit on this chair and get out some of my... Do you have the... Do you have the thing running? Yes. All right. Look at us being all official. Ed's gonna run in the EMF field. You think you could tell the difference between stuff outside and inside? Maybe if you just set it on the ground in one location. I'll try that. Oh, 
Is that where she felt it? I've watched some ghost hunting shows. They're usually talking like this, normal. And then it's like, did you hear that? What was that? Did, do you remember any of the stories from down here? Yeah, this is where they would work out and then... Did she have a name of anybody to call out to? <laughs> I don't know. Hey, Jimmy. Larry. Tom. I know. <laughs> Barry. Lawrence. The, um, <laughs> the boiler room was RD. Oh, yeah, it was RD. No, I didn't think of RD. I remember RD. And then Red. <laughs> His cell block is cell block one or two, I think. What would have one went to? I think there would be more people in there. There's like 50 of us. It's spread out. It's big. Yeah, it is big. And would you sit down here by yourself? By myself? Yeah. Possibly. Not with my light off. <laughs> <laughs> we all have limitations. <laughs> but I don't think, I feel like we came back. You're right, we, can, we gotta go in from the yard. So I think if we were out in the yard and then we turn left out okay. here. Let's try that. Because you're right, that map is pointless. All right, so here's the gift shop. Here's the south yard. Okay, that's the that's yard we're the in, because that's okay. the one we're in travel, so we gotta so go, then to, the we gotta go to the north yard. How did we get there? So then if this is the sugar shack, so that's here, uh -huh. then we gotta go this way, right? This way through, through the main hallway, then we pass the cafeteria. We're going by ourselves. Is this a good idea? Uh, I mean, not when we've got a map like this. I mean, this is we've a been terrible lost map. a few times together. I'm not real sure we want to be lost. There ain't no waterfall down, down there. Here. <laughs> I mean, the boiler room might have one, but. All right, come on. We might have RD down there. Come on. What's the worst that can happen? Uh -oh. Just don't remember, don't At shut the door. Just... Don't shut the door. Remember she said the door sticks? Oh yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, we had to go through here. North Hall. This is. Okay, North Hall is here. They were looking for a half an hour. Last night it was the cafeteria where that door's at. Mm -hmm. They had a lot of hits in there last night. Okay. Well, we're actually and looking you for. How to get to red. Back to the cell. To where red's red's at. Mm -hmm. Go all the way down that hall and you'll run into it. Okay. okay. Thank you. But Perfect. The cafeteria, they had a little girl on that last night talking to me. Okay. I don't like to talk to little children. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. All right. Um, I'm, I'm mm -hmm. out on talking to little old girls in the cafeteria. Why is a little girl here? She's not a little girl. She's a demon in disguise. Don't go in there. It looks spooky.
travel by ourselves, <laughs> going to the death house. We left Ed and Todd in the sugar shack. <laughs> and we're headed to Red, uh, Cell. Red Cell. That's where we're headed. There's probably lots of people there. Yeah. We think we want to be with people right now. <laughs> No, oh, because they're sitting in the dark. I don't know why. I don't know why people like to sit in the dark. I don't either. I don't know if this is a good idea. Are you aware? Are this somewhere? I got the door. <laughs> you have to go all the way around. Is there... It's a black cat. Where? Oh, I see it. I thought, I thought, I thought maybe she lost it for a second. It's dark. There's no one in there. Do we want to go in? I don't know. I think we need the boys to come with us. Oh, here's the kitty. Mom, can you show us the way? Hi, Gray. Hi, sweetie. Hi. Oh, you got yellow eyes. Where are you going? You gonna show us where to go? What? You gonna show us where to go? Okay, where are the boys? I don't know. It's dark in there and there's nobody in there. I think we don't want to go in there by ourselves. <laughs> Where are you going? We were going to go to Red Cell. But we decided not yeah, to. Dark in there. Oh, There's nobody in there. Feelings from one last time I was here, something was standing right in front. I could feel the pressure from whatever it was. And then I got off pretty quick. And so we're following him. Like, that's a good idea. So he's going to Red's backwards. I'm like... And this is Red's room here. This cell. Uh, Than the guy that he killed. Every time I come down here, I get stuff like that. Every single time. Is it a voice? Yeah. I mentioned his name, and then something. Oh, it, it happens every time. Only, only when I come through here, the infirmary, I get some. Nothing like this. I don't know where that guy's going, but. been coming down here. I wouldn't have came down here by myself. <laughs> we met no. some we met some security guards and they said we needed to go to the cafeteria. Have you been in there lately? Yeah that's right around so, I never had no experiences in the cafeteria. They said there's a little girl there that was been in there. So shall we go? I know. <laughs> we, I'm like why is there a little girl here? Don't necessarily want to talk to a little girl. It was, Was that when we were at Red Cell? Is that us? Did you hear that or was it just me? At Red Cell? Yeah, that's yeah. right. Yeah. yeah. Then I got this other recording when I was over there. Run away. It sounded like it said run away. A fallen angel. I. That's pretty clear, whatever that is. I just got chills from that one. I got chills. Oh, I mean, I still have chills. I'll be down on it. Oh, yeah. Mm -hmm. Let's leave that one back there. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so here's the situation. We let, we told Ed and Todd to go down to the sugar shack because we didn't feel like it was a good, we just didn't feel like we should be down there when we were down there earlier. 
just had a feeling we shouldn't be down there. But now we can't find them. We don't know if they're still in the sugar shack or where they're at. So now Kelly and I are lost, away from our husbands, in this giant building. And my walkie talkie's not working either. Great. They're down in this hole, we think. Maybe they would have went to the... Who is that? Not them. Maybe they, maybe they went to the, um... Maybe they went to the lobby just to wait for us. We're talking about it in time. Okay, you're right. They probably don't even know where the lobby is. <laughs> Share your experience. What happened? I just don't like the cafeteria. I don't like the sugar shack and I don't like the cafeteria. I don't know how to so what happened to your, what happened, you, she got, I got nauseous in the cafeteria. I just don't want to go back. I don't want to go back there. Yeah, I just got chills. <laughs> she got chills. Well, because then you the were security listening. guards came by and told us we need to check out the cafeteria because there's a little girl in there. <laughs> and do you want to go check out the little girl in the I cafeteria? I don't like it. <laughs> we were over there joking around and nothing straight. happened. So we were, Ed and I are bad ghost hunters. Yeah, and I'm a bad one too because I just, you know, I want out. I just want to sit there in the dark. Yeah, we sat in the dark in the sugar shack. Yeah, sat we just there. sat there. Yeah, we turned everything off, <laughs> sat the EMF on the ground. We, and nothing happened. We put the flashlight in there and called your name, and then we're like, we ain't going down there. We didn't know if you're down there or not. Oh my goodness. We weren't down there. We were never going down there. No, we we, so we needed you boys with us. All I know is it's like 1.20 or 1.30. This is the 1.15. I told you nothing happens until 2.36. <laughs> I can't make it. I can't make it to 2.30. I don't know if I'm going to make it. <laughs> this is the latest I've been up for like 10 years. <laughs> it's the opportune time to go something. Okay. Yeah, we're going, where did you find that useless we're piece going, of knowledge? We're going to... Reds. Mm -hmm. Is that where we're going? Yes. Reds. We're going to Reds. Can we go through the yard? Yes. Okay. Because I don't want to go through the cafeteria. Through the yard. There's nothing happening in the cafeteria. I'm nauseous in the cafeteria. Oh, oh so oh, apparently. We killed in the yard, though. Yeah, there was a lot well, of people. Well, I'm fine. The There's nine, over 990 some people that died here. Not all in the yard. No, just in general. Okay. The food must have just really been bad in the cafeteria. <laughs> So you won't go there by yourself? Right there. Absolutely not. And that's where are we going? Reds. I had four, all four experiences I've had down there have been really super bad. Okay. I've been touched. I've had somebody in my face. And, and this is where we're going? Uh, that's where yeah. we're going. We're where is it? Red's. Red's cell. His cell. Unfortunately, well, it take, you have to go through the cafeteria. You have to go through the cafeteria. You have to go through the cafeteria the way you took it, right? Okay, we're going to go that way. Okay, we'll turn on this. Here we go. I know you're excited. Oh, oh, <laughs> you won't go by yourself either? Well, I've been by myself a couple times, but I don't feel like sometimes I think they like this. So we're going to have somebody else going. Something, when something touches you, though, there's no denying. Do you have one here now? You have a lot. Yeah, I made a gold of myself. Oh, look at you. Yeah, I've seen many people with spirit boxes. What you haven't seen spirit boxes? You turn it on and it makes up. <laughs> yeah. So I just uh, my hands are up. So. Yep. But um, I'm not gonna spend 300 bucks. I think I built this for like 35 bucks. Is it a spirit box or a REM pod? Like a REM pod. Like a REM pod. Okay. It's a REM pod. Yeah, because spirit box would talk. Come on, let's go. There's a, we're, we travel in packs now. This is the red door. Okay, so that's where the famous picture was, was right here, the shadow. Mm -hmm. Yeah, this is where the famous picture was, but it's been proven multiple times how you can recreate that. Oh, uh, okay. And what is your name? I should ask that. Larry. Larry, I'm Todd. Larry Jackson. Oh, nice to meet you, my friend. You got some great toys. I'd love to work here. I don't know. I can't. I can't say that. I'd be horrible here. <laughs> so, how many times have you been here? This is my fourth time. Oh, okay. 
Well, can't say that it's not eventful. That was the first time that's gone off, this whole thing. It was right here. Well, don't lose Larry. Don't keep going. Keep going. Is that the shot? Is that, are we here? Yeah. I'm sit down. Yeah, red, white, red. How are you feeling? I couldn't imagine being in here. I think they're really, this is like... Okay. Is it? Okay. What's she doing in here? This is red. Is this where he was killed? Was he killed in his cell? Well, yeah. Apparently. You have a spirit doll. Well, it's haunted for sure. I mean, okay. Um, that's yeah. pretty cool. Yeah. Well, I guess you could. <laughs> yeah. You could say <laughs> in her cabinet, we're at home. I'll get up in the morning, and she'll be facing and looking at the mirror, completely turned around. And huh. There's nobody at my house. You know, so. so what you're saying is that doll is like Beetlejuice. 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 <laughs> <laughs> That's it. <laughs> so, so do you bring I bring her I bring her I take her to all the investigations. Has it helped? In Absolutely. Huh. I just I just don't know if it's but haunted. Don't, how does that feel to have something haunted in your house though? I love it. I've had people talk about bringing sage over and I'm like, don't be there. Interesting. Yeah, I like my spooks. Okay, <laughs> I like my spooks. That's yeah. fair. Bring her with me everywhere I go. Hmm. Oh, you're fine. Oh, you were the last one, sorry. So, um, when was the last time you sat in a prison cell, with just you know, hanging out? Just like it's been a while, huh? Last night. <laughs> <laughs> last night. Last night was for you. <laughs> that's okay. That's fair. This would be my first. That's fair. Okay. <laughs> Actually, I, I am in a prison cell right now. Yeah. Um, but I don't know. I don't know. Yeah, because of your job. Yeah. yeah. Prison, yeah. Okay. Yeah, and you just shut down your credibility. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I wish that. No, who did that? They went upstairs. No, go upstairs. You can't go upstairs. So that was nobody here. No, I was, I was standing right here. I wasn't even running anything. Oh my God. Shields. <laughs> All the hair is standing up on my legs right now. Okay. Right. You, know, that, you need to set off one of these lights or sounds so that more than that. That was the loudest, and I wasn't even yeah. running video. Oh, yeah. me neither. Were you? I am. No. Oh, you no, were? Yeah. But that, I hear people. Yeah, but that. That sounded like it was like right. Was right, above right, right, right. right. Yeah. This is right above us. Really? Yeah, that was. Right. Feel, like, feel like that. And she I means we should go. I no, have, it, I have that same feeling that I had in Sugar Shack. I got nothing. See, I can't do the Sugar Shack by myself either. Oh, I got chills up and down my arm legs. <laughs> that go my arm legs. <laughs> <laughs> I will say that is the loudest. Yeah, that was sound like a. Is that the album <laughs> recording? Yeah. Going that way. Yeah, I, I wasn't recording because I was like nothing. Right you're saying it out. Nothing's we're happening. Going to that door. I'm sorry. Got in, but... Whoa, that was me. Okay, yeah. all right. I'm going out this door. That, that it, I, your face was fabulous. Oh.
I don't. I can understand why, because it was right above your head. I was. Yeah, I was talking smack. I'm still talking smack, though. Because honestly, it's it's been again. No one's allowed up there. Okay, wait, 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 Ed, come here. We're going to stand right here. Come here. We're not just going to leave. He can't just throw us out. Oh, wait, this is locked. Ouch. Yeah, there's no way up there, they said. That was right above our heads. Let's see you do it again, punk. Okay. Can they get to us from the other side, though? No, that was... Some uh, people turned left, I thought. You can't go here. No, they turned left. That no, way. the people walked around me. And when they walked around me... That way. No, they walked around me and we went out this door. No, the first... The, the oh, the other group? Before, the girls. Yeah, I don't know. They went to the left. The crazy part to me was that it was the closest... I'm still not scared. I'm not even but it just that that was like that was a but like I'm standing here and it was right there. Yeah, but I understand it was on my head. They were they went that way and they were waiting over there in that room. We walked by them. Right. But they walked by us a long time ago though. That was the loudest thump I've heard. Hmm. <laughs> you gotta admit, you, we both were like, what just happened? But I still don't feel anything. So, sissy. <laughs> no. No, yeah, nothing. Oh, bats? I don't mind bats. Okay. We are going into something called the boiler room, or the hole. I guess has lots of activity. He hasn't been down here for three years. I won't come down by myself. Well, I don't want any more slamming doors. I got the worst feeling that I was Um, It's straight. Straight to the left. Because I knocked on these things. When I walked by, I went like this to announce my presence. And then it was to the left. Um, we waiting on him? I don't know. He's over here. Are you looking for bats? Yeah. They'll fly around you. Ooh, wee. <laughs> okay. Are we going to do? Oh, yeah. You had toys over here. Where's those toys at? Ed, him, give me some light. So apparently these are supposed to be items that people put in here for trigger items. Yeah, apparently they're leaving stuff for RV. How come? I'd really be pissed off if somebody would just drink my fireball and just leave me uh, <laughs> well, okay. an empty fireball. At least somebody left them some Mountain Dew and some water, but drink okay. my fireball. Apparently they weren't, em they weren't, um, empty, when they they weren't empty when they were put here. Oh, come on now. I am not going to buy yeah, that. No. You want the, the tour guide we have? A the spirit one. drinking spirits? No. <laughs> she said she, the, he, she did tell us that RD shared because she enjoyed it. <laughs> Interesting. Oh, I should see if my... Uh, this is on, no? No. I know, but that's fine. Hey, why is it dead? 0.33. Okay. Then we have to do a conversion. Wait, wait, back up. Why is it on 0.33 already? Mm -hmm. It's never been any anything else. There's nothing in here. It's there's no power. Well, if that turns red, I doubt it. You're getting readings. Yeah. Oh yeah, you have an EMF too. Yeah, and there's nothing down here to pick that up. Yeah, and it, when nothing. you go up higher towards where the electric lines yeah, look at go, that. you get nothing. It's all right here in the middle. Has you that happened before? Ground, it goes away. No. So it's all right here. At Okay, I got nothing. Oh wait. Yeah, that is weird. There's it's all right here in the middle. Yeah. 0.35. All all of them say the same thing. Mm -hmm. 
How's that possible? This is where they were tied up. Yeah, these pipes. there was all kinds of. Uh, didn't they have like torture device stuff yeah. and everything? Yeah, they did. Living post. Okay, that just went off right here. Okay. So it, I'll continue talking. Right here. Right here. All right. What do you got to say? Right here for me. What the heck? Box or you it out. What the heck? That's consistent. Okay, you're done. Yeah, that's it. That's it. That's all you got. Back to zero. Hmm. So <laughs> all right, I'm laughing at you. Yeah, I get it. Still laughing. Still laughing. Thanks, Larry. Nice to meet you. All right. Pleasure. Take care. Yep. Thank you. Did you all sign out? Yes. Okay. So that way you don't have to search for us. <laughs> it wouldn't be the same. <laughs> good, good night. night. Safe trip. Okay. Alas, we've made it to, what time is it? 2 o'clock. 2 o'clock. We, <laughs> we, did, we didn't make it till 4. We believe... I have a lot of footage to look through. I have audio recordings. I don't know what Sheila and Kelly did. <laughs> Ed's got be stuff. <laughs> <laughs> so we got I, stuff to get from Larry, our new friend. So you'll probably seen whatever I found in this video. Who knows? But it was an enjoyable night. Yeah. Yeah, the so, weather's great. Yeah. And it's a beautiful, like what a cool old building. And it wasn't to me it wasn't scary at all. So there's just a couple moments and I'm like, yeah, I shouldn't be here. And then that's yeah. the relief. Now, the loud bang, If you, it, hopefully that made it in the video because that is the loudest bang I've ever heard in anything that we've ever done. So It was a little freaky. Did you enjoy your evening? I did. I'm just super tired. <laughs> it is. It's late. For us, it's late. It is super late. And we've had it. But... Long drive day today and then we did this. So, yeah. But it's okay because traveling and doing experience is what it's all about. Yeah, and you know, was it? Su I mean, you didn't feel like it was super creepy. No. It's not super spooky. Um, you know, there's a couple t instances I'm like, yeah, I don't think I should be in here. I mean, Larry took it very serious. He's had some there's instances that he didn't want to. There's a lot of people that yeah. take it super serious, and you know, that's the question though: is you know, if you believe in ghosts, mm -hmm. and here it is. This is Halloween week. You know, is everything spooky? There's doing a whole dungeon thing for Halloween. The, if you believe in ghosts, if you believe in the that side, the evil side, the evil spirits, how far of a leap then is it for you to believe on the good side, the good spiritual side in in God and in Jesus? Because they had, they, there's got to be both. Mm -hmm. And that's true. And I find it always interesting at Halloween. More people are going to be doing this stuff. But yet in their everyday walk, they don't think of the positive. Evil is around us all the time. All the time. It's not even... Evil is not in a building. No. There's a spiritual war happening. If you've watched the, the video Voices in My Head, spiritual warfare happens every day, every second that we're walking around. It is not contained into a building. And I think that's my biggest thing that I wish people would understand is that you might be dealing with some pretty horrific spiritual attacks but there's hope yeah and i know people might say well if you're a christian and here you are you're going and taught you know, going to look at these spiritual things here's the thing is i know that that is something that has no power over mm -hmm. over me as a believer there's no power um o over us as believers and so mm -hmm. if that's something that you struggle with just want to let you know there is hope there is and watch that video voices in our head yeah now we're going to go to bed i think we're going to be out now because we're tired yeah i'm sleepy before we ramble on another circle so we're out <laughs>